Christopher, remember when we met? Wasn't that a great day? Yes, I agree. We have been friends for a long time. Yes, we have, but it feels like it was just yesterday we met. It's gone by way too fast. I can remember every word. It is as clear as day two. Hello, my name is Emergia Vespucci. I thought I would come say hello since my friend said you're a pretty nice man. Why, thank you. Well, my name is Christopher Columbus, and I think that that this is a great... This is... This is a start to a great friendship by the looks of you. Yes, I agree, and we can talk about a lot of things together, especially voyaging. Definitely, definitely. Do you enjoy voyaging? Well, I've never been on a voyage. I have grown an interest for it, though. I'll keep that in mind. So, you want to go down to the cafe and talk about things? Yes, I am so thirsty right now. Let's go have some iced tea. Okay, so do you have any siblings? Yes, I have five siblings in my family. What about you? Do you have any siblings? Wow, you have a large family. Mine isn't much different. I have four siblings, three brothers and one sister. Wow, I think that's a lot, but try living with five of them. Well, anyway, how many voyages have you been on, if any? Well, I have finished my first voyage, and it was great because I saw a lot of things that most people don't see every day. So it was, it was a great experience. Why is why why is you went on a voyage? Do you think you will find anything? Well, I guess it just depends on who I'm voyaging with and where I'm going. I hope I would though. What was the greatest part of your voyage? I think that the greatest part of my voyage was when I finally got to see land from a different point of view. So, where were you born? I was born in Florence, Italy. How about you? I was born born somewhere in Italy too. Wow, that's pretty cool that we were born around the same place. Yeah, so would you like to ask me any other questions? No, that's all. I would like to ask, that's all I would like to ask for today. Oh, look, look at the time for me to go home. I will see you some de sometime any other day, but I'm going to go home and sleep. Thanks for telling me the great stories. Thank you for the time that you took in your day and talk about talk to me, and I will see you another day, but for now, goodbye, Christopher. Goodbye, Amerigo. Well, I've got to get going. See you around soon. Okay, looking forward to next time. We had a lot of fun back then, didn't we? Yes, we did. I was meaning to ask you, how was your latest voyage? Did you find anything interesting? Well, yes, I did. I named the country, Venezuela. It is such an honor to have named the country. Why, that is great. Does Venezuela mean anything? It does. Little Venice is what it means. It's pretty beautiful, isn't it? It is. All of this exploring talk, talk is reminding me of our first voyage together. I think it was also your first voyage, too. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. It was. I still have the mapping of the speck of land I saw on that trip. Remember when you said that would make us go off track if we sailed that way? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Man, we've had some good times. Yes, we have.